Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So today's video is going to be another Shop My Stash video. Um, the last one that I posted was two weeks ago and I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick to that for now um, when it comes to just how often I'm doing um, new rotations. And so because I've been requested to do this before, um, I wanted to just kind of like share with you um, what was in my stash last week or the last rotation, but then also kind of go over which ones were my favorites um, and so forth. So let me go ahead and share that with you all. Um, so I'm not going to share my thoughts on everything just because obviously we have to do a whole new rotation, but for foundation, I did have this one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage um, Foundation, right? Um, I do have the shade 20B Light Beige. This was new to me whenever I brought it into my um, Shop My Stash rotation. And I have to say, I still definitely have to gather my thoughts on this one. Um, my skin was really going through it last week and the week before. And I think it was because I was going to start my period TMI. I know, but it is what it is, right? So I think that is a true testament as to like what was going on with my skin. So this I still have to use, but I can tell you right now, it's not a favorite. It does not have, um, like it doesn't really cover redness as much as I would have hoped. Um, I know that this is probably known to be more like a lighter coverage product, but I have lighter coverage products in my collection that do cover redness better than this does. So I'm gonna put this back into my um, collection, but um, I, st I definitely need to keep trying it out. Um, let's see. And then this, I think I'm going to declutter. I'm not like entirely sure, but I want to say I only use this twice. This is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. This feels really nice on the skin, but for some reason, and I don't know if it's just reacting to my um, sunscreen or what, it is so weird on the skin when it, when I'm blending it in, it almost turns into, um, I don't know, like this like residue, it, it's, not, it's not pilling. I know what pilling is, it's not that. It's almost just like it won't blend in. Like it just like sits on the skin and I'm like rubbing it in, rubbing it in and it just takes a while. So I'm kind of like frustrated with this one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try it maybe just like once more, maybe pairing it with a different sunscreen or something, or maybe just making sure that my sunscreen is fully absorbed before I go in with something new. But yeah, kind of disappointed in this one. Um, and I may see myself decluttering that pretty soon. Um, for my other foundation, I had the Wet n Wild Dewy. That one is okay. I think again, because of just how my skin was reacting, I just really wasn't impressed with a lot of my makeup products. Something that I like, but I wish I had a different shade in, is this Profusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush. I do have the shade Rosé. This is really nice. The formula is nice. I just wish that I got a different color. That's all. It's a little bit too light for me. Um, and yeah, I think maybe I wish I would have gone for something a little bit more peachy or just something a little bit more pigmented that would show up. But that is a nice affordable option at the drugstore if you're wanting to try liquid blushes. Really enjoyed my Maybelline City Bronzer this week. Really, really, or these past two weeks, really loved this one. I reached for it pretty much every day except for when I used my Say Cream Bronzer but I have the shade 200, really, really liked this one. And I'm glad because that had been a bronzer that I haven't used in a while. So I'm glad that I was able to get some use out of it. Um, this is something that's on the chopping block for sure. This is my Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Seychelles. So this is such a hyped up blush. So many people love this blush formula and they also really enjoy the shade. So my thing is the shade. I think the formula is really nice. It's really long wearing, but the shade is kind of like a bronzy, uh, or excuse me, like a rosy bronze color, but sometimes I do feel like it emphasizes texture and shades like this um, are kind of, hit or miss for me because I feel like they can re look really beautiful depending, but then sometimes I'm looking in the mirror and I wish that I had more blush on. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it can sometimes blend into my bronzer and I don't really see that I have blush on and I think it's just this shade. So I'm going to keep around, keep it around a little while longer, but 
really I'm not loving it. Another product that I'm just not loving and I truly think it's because of the shade is my Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. I have the shade 002 Neutral Ivory. I probably should have gone in with something deeper, but it's so hard to buy Catrice because you can only buy it online. Um, and that makes it difficult to buy um, your correct shade. And then also because it's not like Ulta or Sephora where you can try it and then exchange it for your correct shade if you um, got the wrong one. So it is just a little bit harder for me. I will probably see myself decluttering this fairly soon. Um, and then this highlighter from Tarte was new to me at the time. I picked this up and the Tarte foundation at the same time. Um, I think it was during like the Tarte, their Tarte um, like friends and family site-wide sale. And this is their um, Amazonian Clay Shimmering White. So it's just a highlighter and it's in the shade Rose Gold Glow. Really beautiful, really loved this. You can see how much use I got in this um, or I got from this this past rotation. Really enjoyed it. Um, loved my Say Bronzer. I you know really enjoy that product. This product, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder, is really nice. However, um, it is a very lightweight powder, um, so it's definitely something that's not going to keep me from getting oily throughout the day. Now that the the weather is warmer, I I do notice my skin getting a little bit more oily, um, and it's probably more combination skin now, but. Um, this is still a really great powder nonetheless. If you have dry or normal skin, I think you would really, really enjoy this one. So that is everything. Um, as far as eyeshadow palettes, I had these two in my rotation. It's the um, Too Faced, the Natural Nudes Born This Way um, eyeshadow palette and the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. Really liked both of those. Um, I feel like the Too Faced is not as much of a favorite as it used to be, just formula wise. I just don't think that that's Too Faced's best quality, but it's still, you know, a really nice option. So now let's go ahead and work on um, picking out some new products. All right, so I went ahead and emptied out this tray here, and now we're going to be working on bringing some stuff um, into this week's rotation. I have um, some Sephora VIB sale purchases here. Um, I'm also awaiting two online orders. So I've already gone crazy. <laughs> um, I am Rouge, so I was able to start shopping on April 1st. So um, let me know what you guys are picking up. Um, there are some really, really great new products at Sephora. But anyways, I definitely want to use some of these new goodies. Um, I did pick up the really hyped up NARS light reflecting foundation. This was something that I wasn't planning on picking up. I was of course interested in it. Um, I had a coupon at Ulta a while back, but they were sold out of my shade and it's been sold out like online and everything. Um, I was needing the shade Light 3 Gobi. And um, surprisingly, I was at Sephora yesterday and they had my shade. I was really, really shocked because like I said, it had been out of stock. I don't even think it's available online um, in this shade. So the fact that I was able, I almost dropped this. <laughs> the fact that I was able to find this in store was such a surprise. So I am thrilled, you guys. Um, this is my first NARS foundation. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. And this is definitely going in my shop, my stash this week. Um, and then I'm not going to pick out another foundation because I actually was able to get samples of the new Kosas um, Revealer Foundation. Um, just a heads up, my Sephora, they are doing samples once again. Um, I'm really excited because that means that we are just getting closer to hopefully moving past the pandemic. Of course, it's always going to be with us, but I'm hoping that we're just really off to a better start. Um, but anyways, they um, were able to give me samples. So they gave me samples of two shades and they're just little um, like plastic little canisters. Let me share with you. So these are the little samples here. So A is the shade 130 and then B is the shade 140. So um, I think 130 will probably work for me. However, B is a little bit more neutral. So um, I will definitely be trying this foundation out. I was torn between that foundation and the NARS one but I think the NARS one whenever I was speaking to the Sephora employee just kind of suits my needs a little bit better especially for this time of year and the warmer months so definitely excited though to try out that sample um, from Kosas and then other things in here um, I definitely picked up another 
which actually, now that I'm thinking about this, okay, so we are good. I have, um, so I picked up a shade of the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes, and this is the shade Encourage. Um, and this is part of the dewy formulation. I was really intrigued by these new um, shades. This is, this mini one is actually one that I got in a birthday gift. So um, I already had this one, but gosh, looking at them now, they look pretty similar. <laughs> gosh, I'm like, I hate to open up the new one. This is the shade Encourage. This was, um, this is not a permanent shade. It was in like a, a my birthday gift and it's in the shade Adore. So, um, I'm curious to see how these compare. Um, maybe I will go ahead and swatch them, but I definitely want to play around with this new shade. Let me swatch them actually. Okay, so this lighter pink one is in the shade Adore, and then the second like darker shade is Encourage. So they definitely are different. So that makes me really happy because they look kind of similar, but um, yeah, really, really excited to have another shade of these um, Rare Beauty ones. So. I will be pulling this one into my stash for my liquid blush, and then I'll probably bring in a powder blush also. Let me wipe this off. Okay, and then I do have a lip product that I want to use that I did pick up, and I picked up one of the new ABH lipsticks. So here's what the box looks like. It's the ABH Satin Lipstick, and I picked up the shade Peach Amber. This is stunning, you guys. I was definitely not gonna pick any new lipsticks up, but this shade is so beautiful. Let me show you a swatch. So here is a swatch of the lipstick. It's really, really pretty. It's probably more for fall, but I am definitely gonna be pulling this one in. Um, I don't normally pick out lipsticks, but I am just really, really interested in trying out this formula. It feels very comfortable on the lips, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll that one in and then the rest of this stuff I'm saving to share with you because um, I want to do a haul so now let's go into my collection here let's pick out a primer let's pick out a concealer all of the good things um, so in this drawer, I have those categories. I have primers, concealers. I'm not gonna pick out another foundation because I have the NARS one as well as those Kosas foundation samples. So for primer, um, because that's a new foundation, I definitely am probably gonna go for something that's a little bit more blurring. Um, actually, I do wanna use this one. This is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. This is gonna be the one that I pick. Um, I have heard Chic Geek rave about this primer on her channel and it made me really wanna use it. So that's gonna be the primer that I pull in. And um, I think that's gonna be it because I wanna give myself like the opportunity to kind of pick anything else that I want. Um, for concealer though, I definitely want to bring one of those in. Um, Let's see. So I think I'm gonna bring in my Kosas concealer. Um, I do have the shade 03W. Um, I just think that this is a great everyday concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one in. Um, and I think that's gonna be all for concealers. I think, yeah, that'll be it for that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this drawer. And then I'm definitely gonna pick out something from this one. So for bronzer, I think I want to pull in my Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. Um, this is really, really hyped right now. A lot of people are enjoying these. This is the Rare Beauty um, Bronzer Stick in the shade, wow, this was not closed all the way, <laughs> in the shade Happy Soul. I hope this isn't dried out, I doubt it. Yeah, no, it's not, okay. Um, this is the shade Happy Soul. These are sold out on Sephora, so hopefully you were able to get your hands on one of these during the sale while you could. Um, but this is going to be the cream bronzer that I bring in. I do want to bring in a powder bronzer also just because I like to do that. Um, I like to have a little bit of a variety. I think I'm going to bring in my Tom Ford bronzer. This is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in the shade 02 Terra. I picked this up at a cosmetic company outlet store, um, which is why I have this. I would not pay full price for this, um, but here's what this bronzer looks like. It looks really, really pretty. Love the shade of this one. So um, 
I'm gonna get some use out of this. I haven't used it in a while. And then I am gonna bring in a powder. I'm gonna bring in my ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, pressed powder. I have the shade Fair 4. Um, I just wanna get some use out of this one. It's fairly new to me. I picked it up earlier this year and I just want some use out of it. So that's going to be all from this drawer. And here I do have my blushes. I have all of them. <laughs> There's so, so many. I already have a liquid blush, so I'm not gonna pick out another one of those. I do wanna pick out a powder blush though. Um, I want something a little bit more every day because the Rare Beauty one is definitely more mauve toned. So I want something that's either like neutral or something that is going to maybe be just a little bit like more pink. Um, so let's see. Oh, actually, I know what I want to use. Um, duh. <laughs> I want to use this. This is new. I am so excited, you guys. Bare Minerals brought back their bronzers. So I picked up the shade Kiss of Pink. I did not pick this up during the sale. I picked it up early because these, they were gonna sell out and I was so afraid that they were gonna sell out even before the sale. So I just, I paid full price for this, unfortunately, um, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, I picked up the shade Kiss of Pink and they had come out with these last year around this time and then they were limited edition and I regretted not picking one up. So this is going to be what I bring in and it's perfect because it's a little bit more um, like pinky nude. So that's going to be the blush that I bring in. So that's gonna be it from here. All right, so then in here I have my lip glosses as well as my highlighters. Um, what do I wanna use? I think I wanna go ahead and bring this in. This is my Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. This is supposedly a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury ones. And I have the shade Gleam, which is a little bit more of like the rose gold color. So I'm gonna bring that in. I wasn't impressed with that, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring it in just to kind of gather my thoughts. And then for my other highlight, I'm gonna bring this one in. This is my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle um, Powder Highlighter. This is just a little bit more subtle, which I like for every day, especially going into work. So here is what this one looks like. It's more of that, that baked formula. Smells amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring that highlighter in. And for lip products, I'm gonna pick those out during the week, like just to complement looks, but I wanted to use that new ABH one. So now let's choose an eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm definitely really, really excited about this. Um, I kind of had some ideas. I really don't want to go too crazy. Um, I really want to pull out something that's more like neutral, everyday appropriate. There's so many that I want to use. I want to use like my Biba palette from Natasha Denona, but I also want to use that Patrick Ta one that I'm looking at. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of torn, um, but I think the one I'm gonna use, because I haven't used it a ton, um, I'm gonna use this one from ColourPop. It's the, if I can get it, it's the Bare Necessities palette. This should have everything that I need. <laughs> like, it is so pretty. Um, I picked it up because a lot of people really enjoy this one and I think that it literally has everything that you could ever need neutral wise. So I'm gonna pull in this palette. I think this is gonna be the only eyeshadow palette I bring in because there are others that I really wanna use. Like I might pull in my Biba palette just to get use out of it. I might bring in that Patrick Ta one. Like I don't have to use this palette every day, but it's nice to kind of have one already on my vanity so that whenever I am getting ready, I know like, okay, that's the one, I'm gonna use it. I don't have to like be digging through my collection. So. This is everything that I'm going to be using. It's quite a few products, but um, I'm really excited. I have some good things here and it fits perfectly in my drawer here. I love that. I love that I'm not cluttering my makeup area, but I'm utilizing this storage space here. And then my eyeshadow palette, I will probably put it back there. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. What will you be using this week or for the next two weeks? I would love to hear from you guys. Um, comments below what your favorites have been, if you picked up anything during the Sephora VIB sale so far. Um, I hope that you enjoyed and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye. I can see you.